Hi, my name is Tom Knighton and I'm playing physics with innovation. Aside from physics, I have two other main passions, sport, which I've talked about in my personal statement, and DT. What I love about DT is that I can use my creativity to design an innovative product that fits a gap in the market. As you can see from my A2 folder, I've had to come up with eight completely different and original designs. Then, using my real life client to pitch my ideas to and get some third party views, I've managed to develop my ideas and so producing my final design, as you can see here. Hello, I'm David Palmer to Tom's client. I work as a photographer. As somebody who works in a creative industry, I can see that Tom has a flair for design and the ability to create innovative and exciting products. My AS folder also demonstrates my ability to innovate. This section, entitled Product Design, was about solving a specific problem, mine being how to store wine on a table. Here are my eight initial designs developed the process of blue sky thinking. My final design shows how you could solve this problem. This lamp was part of the manufacturing section in the AS course. GCSE DT was very similar to A2. I designed and created an original coffee table shown here. In terms of entrepreneurship, during my GCSE year, together with my local award-winning youth council, I led a group of friends to develop a not-for-profit chocolate business called Dreamy Sheep, as you can see from the t-shirts here. We learned how to make chocolate from a chocolate expert and both produced and sold the chocolate to a variety of different events, as well as taking personal orders from individuals. I made sure everything we did ran smoothly and we made a profit in the end of just under £1,000 some of which went back to develop the business further, and some to support the Youth Council. In addition, a friend and I spotted what we thought was a gap in the market, tips and advice on men's passion for people our age. We therefore decided to make a website. Building on the fact that we both would like to be James Bond, we called it Shaken Not Stunned. But however, we named it later to JAG, which we thought would relate to our target markets more effectively. Recently, we moved my 90-year-old grandmother to live near us, as we were worried about her living by herself. She is, however, fiercely independent, and hates the idea of living in a home, or even having some care come to our house. Although she does have a number of products, such as a dementia clock, what amazed me is that at an age where we can have driverless cars and plans to, fly, to be able to fly to New York in under four hours, there simply aren't enough products on the market to help people like my grandmother stay in their own home. I hope this course will help me not necessarily innovate and design something to fill her need, but by using my physics knowledge, fed my creativity and entrepreneurship, help change the world for better. Thank you.